hey guys welcome back to my channel it's blessing here as always with another helpful video in this video i'm going to be sharing some of the items that have been so useful to me some of these items i did not get until i realized i actually needed them so i've compiled a list of some of the items that have helped me transition my baby from having breast milk to having solid food i believe these items are very useful it is better to get them before your baby gets to six months so that when it's time to transition into solid you don't have to worry about them it's better to get it ahead of time i wish i did actually made some mistakes and i don't want you to make those mistakes that is why i'm filming this video so one of the mistakes i made was the fact that i did not get my baby plastic beeps on time i thought having the regular cloth beep would do but it was not cutting it for us at all once my baby clocked six months i started what is known as baby led weaning so baby led weaning is a situation whereby you just start your baby with normal finger foods maybe start eating um, proper food instead of purees um i find it very interesting because when the baby starts to eat on his own he kind of develops faster he explores the food he explores the texture he explores the taste a lot more when than when you're just um you know feeding the baby purees and those mashed food my baby did not like it he actually did not like it he was more interested in eating rice samala you know the normal food i eat my husband eats he did not really like eating baby food as such so we started baby led weaning and we let him eat on his own but we noticed that in the process of letting feed himself it could get really messy yes it could get really messy and i did not envisage the kind of mess i was going to clean when it comes to feeding time i got this um plastic beep it's like this silicone fabric this has been so helpful so whenever we feed him with this it doesn't um stain his clothes what it does is it catches all the food right here and after that we just wash up and it's clean again so we use this regularly we use this every day every time so those cloth beads they are very good when the baby is drooling or removed but i noticed that if you use that to feed your baby they tend to get stained a lot so most of our cloth beads are stained like the stains are permanent and we cannot remove it so this plastic bead is very very useful and we love it it's very very good so i would suggest you get yourself a plastic beep i got this off aliexpress yes also most of the items i am going to mention in this video i got from aliexpress yes i got this from aliexpress and it was very inexpensive i'll put the price and the link in the description box if you're interested in getting it you can also get this in balogo market or in lagos market or wherever it is you get your baby products from the beep is so useful it is very very useful because you don't have to clean up a lot when the food drops it drops into the beep it drops here into the beep and you can just scoop it out and wash it's so easy to wash when i started feeding my baby solids everywhere could be messy since we are trying baby led weaning so he takes food and puts it in his mouth on his own so there's food everywhere some of his clothes are so dirty to the point that these things do not go off like no matter how much i try to wash it or soak it or whatever so i'm gonna be doing this in no particular order the next item i got is this um stuff they call it masha you use it to mash baby food so this is it it has a handle and this um stuff i don't know this is the item you actually use to mash the food here so i can give my baby banana rice even like normal food that we eat i mash it for him to eat so i just put it here it's very easy it it's more efficient than using a fork and a plate if you're using a fork to do it it kind of gets a little bit messy but when you're doing it in something like this it's so easy and fast so i just use this i also got this from aliexpress i just use this um to mash whatever it is i'm giving to him be it potatoes rice whatever banana avocado whatever it is i use this to mash it and i think this is so helpful because babies are still young they cannot like they don't have teeth to like mash food on their own so we need to mash it for them to um, be able to swallow so i feel this is very 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 useful it has come in handy i use this a lot so yeah you need to get yourself a masher like this another thing i got off aliexpress i've shown this on my channel before and i think it's also very useful is this this is like a spoon and plate in one so it opens like this let me just show you it opens like this this is the opening so you can put your mashed food in here be it your fruit whatever you can put it in here cover it it has it the measurements it has the measurements on it and you can just um give it to your baby direct so you don't need to worry about getting the plate and a spoon so with this you just um and the, the material of it is quite soft it's more like silicone so you can just um feed your baby directly with this and one thing about this that i don't really like is the fact that um when the food comes out it cannot go in anymore so if you bring something out and the baby cannot 
or doesn't want to eat it anymore that part of the food is wasted already you just have to waste it you cannot go back in when, she, when it comes out unlike when you're using a plate and a spoon if the baby does not want to eat at that point you just keep it or um let him continue later like if you bring out any um portion of food to the spoon and the baby is not ready to swallow or maybe he has a lot in his mouth and he's not ready to swallow you have to literally just hold this and wait for the baby until he's ready to open his mouth again so you can keep it um to stand although it has a stand has a silicone stand that um you can leave on the table but this is also useful when giving your baby food on the go and you don't want to go around with cup spoon plates and all that so this has come in handy a lot it's called i don't really know what's called but i'll put the name um on the screen if i find it so yeah i got this off aliexpress and it was very very inexpensive as well so yeah very useful so these are things are things i think every every mom should have ready for their baby to start solid because you no know, when your baby starts solid you kind of start running um helter skater trying to get these things it's better to have them ahead of time i did i had some of these items ahead of time like this one i got it before my baby started solid because i just figured um it's something we will, we will need and then i got it the next item is this one this baby here this one i really like this i just started using this recently um i got this right like way back even before i gave baby but i really did not know what it is meant for so this is a container like a three-in-one container to store things i'll open it up and show you on my own so it opens up like this and we have in here i have um baby milk or formula also i have i have baby milk or formula then here this brown one i have um soya beans granite and crayfish that have blend um uh, yeah blended together it's dry just like powder soya beans granite and crayfish i added to his pap and i have make formula you can also put you know cerelac or whatever it is that it's like a three-in-one container so when I, whenever we're going out instead of carrying the whole thing of formula or the whole thing of soya beans or whatever it is and carry everything with us we just put um, a portion in here and we go out with it it's really easy to dispense you can just dispense from this side move it around dispense from the other side and it's really really good it doesn't spill at all like i've had this an entire day out and it did not spill at all so i think this is very useful it's something every mom should have like just to dispense the baby food and not having to carry all the bulky um, containers or things around so yeah this is very useful another thing you should have is baby spoons yes so you need to have spoons ignore this one david uses it to eat beans <laughs> and that's why the color is like this so i like this set of spoons because they are very soft like you can literally chew this all day and it's not ruin the spoon they are so soft and i love them babies need spoon so if you don't give your baby food with the right utensil so the baby can get uncomfortable he can attach a very bad feeling to eating and he may not really enjoy the food if you don't use the proper spoon like feeding a six months old baby with an adult spoon it wouldn't go well for him he will not be comfortable eating it so i suggest you get cutleries baby cutleries um before you start giving your baby food also you need to give baby their food in little plates or little cups so that they have an attachment to it for example whenever david sees his cup this is another item this is baby david's cups whenever he sees this cup he knows it's time for pop he knows it's time for food and he gets really excited and jumpy so um i think it's very important another thing is this is a non-spill cup so he doesn't he cannot spill anything in this cup once i cover it it doesn't spill which i think is a very good one and he's currently learning how to drink from a cup although there's a lot of mess everywhere so imagine him wearing the beep on his neck and trying to um you know drink from this cup although this cup is basically meant for pap so i use this cup to feed him pap or whatever the case may be so if he is trying to drink from it maybe drinking water it gets a lot messier than when he's drinking pap but yeah it's normal to get messy when children are eating it's one of those things a few things to note when it comes to baby baby's feeding is the fact that gagging is normal gagging is not choking so the first time david gag um he was like I don't know if the food i gave him was too much i did not understand i panicked i was turning red myself and i called the dad where are you please come david is choking i was literally having a panic attack myself but he after a few minutes he was okay like 
it wasn't even up to a minute a few seconds it was okay so, and i started doing my research about it and i found out that gagging is actually a good sign he's it's okay for him to gag as long as he can breathe and he's not choking it now made me a lot more relaxed so when somebody else was around and david was gagging and she was beginning to panic i was like don't worry it's fine he's fine he's not choking so i was not feeling like a boss myself so just know that gagging is normal gagging is when they are trying to um swallow food and either the food is um, a, a little bit too big on it or it's their first time trying the trying the food and they just like that feeling yeah that is what it is as long as they are breathing they're not choking gagging it's fine also meal time i said this before meal time can be really messy it's expected so just know that when baby eats there's a lot of cleaning that goes after that which is quite normal so if babies rejects food keep practicing they'll get a hang of it like eventually they will like it don't just say oh because my baby did not like this food i'll never introduce it to him again mm -hmm. really david did not like um some food when we started introducing them but after several practices he likes them now he takes them now so keep practicing don't give up it so as a parent please don't get frustrated after several unsuccessful attempts of making your baby to eat um, a particular food and the baby is not budging please do not get frustrated just keep trying keep practicing um you get there the baby will try the baby will um eventually like eating that food keep practicing give him give it to him time and time again just know that sometimes he will just spit it out in your face that happens as well but it's normal have it at the back of your mind that between zero to 12 months of age that's during their first year of age feeding solids to baby is basically for practical sake the main source of nutrients for your baby is still the breast milk so don't take it too seriously let him just explore different texture explore different or different kind of food let him explore whatever it is at this point david is eating anything ranging from amala to pap to yogurt fruits vegetables everything as long as it is in a very good consistency he's going to take it so just keep practicing you'll get there so yeah that is it for this video i just thought to show you some of the things that have been so helpful to me as a mom as a new mom those are those things that nobody actually told me if i had known some of the clothes that we are wearing maybe maybe they may not have been cleaned but nobody told me and it's fine it's fine i hope you learned a thing or two from this video and you find it and you find it interesting if you did please like the video subscribe if you're not yet subscribed let me know in the comment section if there's any other thing you'd like to see on my channel don't forget to ask questions leave a like leave a comment please subscribe if you're not yet subscribed yes subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed don't like what you see don't like the beautiful face that you see yeah so thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video bye